Hello, uh, my name is Mitchell, and I'm going to be doing a senior project on a array of soil testers. So there's three different pieces of information that I generally want to know um, about um, soil conditions, uh, like moisture. I want to know nitrogen level, and I also actually want to know um, how much sunlight um, a specific um, area is getting and uh, there's there's a number of different probes that I've found uh, that are analog probes and uh, That's pretty nice because they actually don't require power What I do want to do though is with these analog probes I'm going to take that data put it into a small little programmable chip that I can then um, Transfer data in between so the the general idea is that you'll have a probe here excuse the drawing but you have a probe here with some kind of interface and then you know 50 60 feet away you'll have another probe with another 60 feet away from that probe you'll have another probe and that goes on and on and on and what i really want them to do is to be able to communicate with each other but I also want them to be able to communicate with the user. And I want to be able to do it so that, you know, if, if you just have a, a, a phone here, you can connect to whichever is the closest one. And that closest one can gather all the data from all the other probes and then send it to your phone. So that way on your phone here, you can have data from all of your probes. So my idea here is to have, um, I want to start out with 10 different probes. And I want to be able to connect to whichever is the closest and have that closest one gather all the data together and then send it to the user in kind of a, uh, um, a quick and easy way. I've found personally from my own experience that um, when you have these kinds of probes, whether it's a moisture probe or it's a sunlight uh, kind of indicator or if it's a probe specifically to test like nitrogen content, that kind of stuff, you can you can kind of forget about them. <laughs> um, and so uh, when you have a large amount of probes or a large area that you're trying to understand the soil conditions for, for growing, you can run into uh, situations where it can take actually a long amount of time to gather all this data. So my idea here is to eventually increase this, increase this number past 10. Because you know, like right now, um, if I show you here, I've got, you know, one, two, three, four, I got eight little tomato uh, sapperlings here um, that I've been growing from seeds and I'm gonna have to um, place them across a, a south-facing wall that I have actually out there and that south-facing wall doesn't get sunlight 24 hours you know 24 hours it 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 doesn't get sunlight um, in an even amount so I find that um, some tomato plants will actually grow, some of these guys will actually grow um, a little taller um, than others. You can actually already see that like this guy in the corner here is, is much taller than some of the other guys, you know, on the other side and they just haven't really gotten as much sun. So, you know, this kind of information, the ease of access, uh, it's going to be extremely useful. Um, it's going to be extremely helpful and um, I can, you know, essentially take multiple samples in one go. And, um, you know, with, with it being an analog probe and uh, with the transfer of data being um, such that it is, I imagine power uh, will either be with a battery or with a uh, solar panel. So that way you can uh, actually just, you know, leave it in the dirt and um, simply come to your closest probe and, um see how the soil's doing so yeah that's my uh that's my project um we'll we'll see how it goes thanks for thanks for listening